¿Qué dice mi raza? Ah, ¿Cómo andan todos por ahí? ¿Cómo andan los chulos y las chulas que me andan viendo? I just got back from Kingston practice. You know how it be sometimes it be so long, and tiring. Y'all Chamberlainers know what it's like. It's, sometimes it's tough. Um, so, but this is gonna be my last Kingston. I'm gonna be retiring after my cousin's Kingston. Anyway, I want to make sure that y'all get the new video. My boot collection video. So I'm gonna be showing all my boots. All my boots. Um, so yeah, enough of me talking. I'm gonna show y'all my boots. So to begin, I got these Chelsea boots. They're not charro boots. Um, or botines. That's what a lot of people think they are. They are not. They are Chelsea boots, but now that I look more and more to them, they do look a lot like botines that charros put on for like um, jaripeos and whatnot, but these are not. These are Chelsea boots. If you look up Chelsea boots, this is what's gonna look up. But they look very, very similar. I do, I do know that they look very, very similar. And that's why I, included, why I included them to this video because even though they're not Western boots, they look very similar to botines, which are Western. And these are technically boots too because they are Chelsea boots, so. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why that was in my boot. Um, these are made by Aldo. Um, I don't know much about the company. They're probably made in China. They're not very expensive. They each cost me 80 bucks. So if you want to buy some Chelsea boots or boots that look really similar to Botines, I know Botines can be pretty expensive. You can probably just settle for some Chelsea boots instead. On to the next pair. I got these suckas right here. These are another pair of suede boots. These are probably my cheapest boots that I have. Um, cheapest cowboy boots. These cost me around 125 bucks. But if you buy these boots, be careful. These are pretty cheap boots, um, both material-wise and um, like they're not like they're probably made in China somewhere. They're not very. They're not very. Um, they're not made with a lot of quality. So. These can't, you can, you can buy these at an eBay for like 70 bucks. So if you want to, if you do want to get a pair of these, these are not bad pair of boots. I'm just saying they're not the best quality out there. You can get them for like 70, 60 bucks. So these are, they, they go cause these are technically the same boot, but they all, all the companies brand them differently by different brands. These are by, I don't know if y'all can see this. Old Corral, couple of boots, so. That's the manufacturer's old Corral cowboy boots. Um, I got kind of like the guy with the pelea stitching. I thought it was pretty cool. When I got these, this model, like all my friends had these. That's why I wanted them. You know, they were really hot. But then after a while, I was kind of like, nah, I really don't like them that much. So, yeah. And then you can tell right here, these are just like a hole stamped on there. I have a different pair of boots that actual you actually pull from this like white part it's not just a little stamp right here so yeah they're pretty good for that chamber probably once you beat them up enough because they do have the leather sole and the leather sole does seem pretty good quality so you know I'm the same pair of boots all right these are probably these are like really close to me these are my first pair of boots that I chose um, I chose these a while ago, man, a while ago, probably about four or five years. And as I wore them, every time they just kept, they kept on getting more comfortable and comfortable because cowboy boots shape to your feet, the leather shapes to your feet. So these just fit like a glove. I mean, I love these. These are so comfortable. As you can tell, they're kind of my beaters. They're really my dailies. They're what I take the kings to practice. And they're so comfortable. I just, like, I came to the realization a couple weeks ago that I'm going to start taking more care of these because... These are nice boots and I don't want them just to go to waste, you know? So, I probably need to put some conditioner on and clean them a little bit so they look a little bit better. But they're still in pretty good shape and they still got a lot of time to last. And I mean, if anything, I probably have to resole them because I do, I stuff up that a lot in these and I just dance a lot on them. So, of course, there's a lot of scraping and they do wear them out a lot. So, I probably will, would need to resole. But yeah, these, oh, by the way, these are Justin boots. And these were the boots I was talking about that you can actually pull from here. You can actually, unlike the other ones, you can actually pull from here. And it's it's really convenient and it's just really easy just to put them in your foot like that. So, 
yeah, these are the square toe Justin boots. Ones that are like four years ago. And the crazy part is that I've grown probably, I, I was probably a nine and a half, nine and a half, nine. Now size 10, I can fit into 10 and a half. So these kind of like stretched with me. So this is pretty cool. You know, I thought, cause I thought wearing them for like a year maybe. And I was like, nah, they're not gonna fit me anymore. Cause, cause you know, they're, they're too small, but no, they actually started like shaping to my feet, which is pretty nice. So yeah, Justin square toes. All right, boom. First, actually no, second pair of piculas. Piculas, we call them in Spanish. Is the round point or point? I don't know. Y'all American motherfuckers tell me. Um, but yeah, these are my first pair of exotic boots. These are python skin boots made by White Diamond Boots. So I know these are made in Leon, Guanajuato. So I know that these are manufactured in Mexico. These were actually a gift from a really dear friend, a really close friend of mine, who, it's kind of funny. He said that when, every time he stepped, his foot would kind of flatten out and he didn't like the shape that it looked or that it got when it did it. So he was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna just give them to you. Which is pretty cool, because these are pretty expensive boots, especially if you buy them here, and he did buy them here, he bought them um, before, which is a Western store that is only Nebraska, because I'm from Nebraska. So, yeah, these are pretty nice pair of boots. I do wear them, especially if I want to look more formal, because with these kind of boots, with this kind of toe, you can look pretty formal. So, what is with the dress pants or whatever. I like them, though, I like them a lot. On uh, to my newest pair of boots. If you guys saw my last video, y'all already know these. These are the square toe boots that I bought. One of the square toe boots that I bought in Mexico. My godparents brought me. These are lizard skin. Y'all see that? Beautiful boot. Um, yeah, I love them. I can't see much about them now because I really haven't worn them. As you can see, these are still brand spanking new. The sole's not worn at all. And yeah, I mean, yeah. I just... These have such a nice smell of leather, man. They have like a... There's like a Mexican leather smell that I can't describe. You're gonna have to buy Mexican boots in order to like know what I'm talking about. But yeah, really nice boot, nice quality. I love them. I can't wear it to wear them. These are the ones I'm gonna. These are one. Of, these are the ones I'm gonna wear for my cousin's quince. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all the outfit. I'm gonna make a whole video about the outfit. And maybe even a vlog. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be busy. It's gonna be frantic. So I don't know. Hopefully. And just to show you all, this is the matching. This is the first matching. Bell I got with a pair of boots. Brown lizard, brown lizard skin. Can't talk. Brown lizard skin. So, matching pair. And then my last pair of boots are these. Which are, if you saw my last video, these are the other pair of boots that I have. Um, they're also square to python. I don't know what kind of skin. I know the ones that I just showed y'all were definitely um, python. I don't know what these are. I know there's some sort of skin. I don't want to say python because I don't want y'all to kill me in the comments being like, oh, actually, it is boa. So, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're snake. They are made by JAR Boots, manufactured in Leon, Guanajuato. Really nice pair of boots. And, uh, yeah. Those are all my Western boots that I have. I'm planning on, like, in my whole closet with boots because I just love boots you know I used to be a very big sneaker head back in the day back in middle school you know with the retros and whatnot but then you know as I grew up kind of I became more paisa and now I'm collecting boots so be looking out for more boot videos because there's definitely gonna be more boot videos to come so yeah um, if you liked the video please leave a like subscribe for more content like this and other content I'm probably gonna post vlogs um, I'm gonna buy a truck, I'm gonna show the project truck videos, I'm Vaquero, Jaripeo, although Nebraska gets cold so it won't be until the next summer, Jaripeo videos, everything western, everything cool, everything my biceps like y'all like to see, I'm gonna be posting, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see y'all. Hijo de su ching madre.
Ma se lo sono fantasma. Ok. Io sei che una sinistra mi sta prendendo. Vuoi come mi metti già in cordo? Sai che non hai stomno.